Hello, my name is Terry Stewart, and this is the Introductory Administrative Remarks Lecture for to start off uh, Systems 556 7, or 750, Simulating Neurobiological Systems. Uh, this is taught at the University of Waterloo in the fall term 2021. Okay, so I'm going to start this off with a little bit of a warning. Um, these are the two reviews. If you currently look up this course on UW Flow, um, these are the two reviews that are there, and they're pretty accurate. Um, so this is a relatively tough course. Um, you're going to be spending a lot of time on the assignments. Um, people seem to like it, and it seems to indicate that it's really useful. Or you know that's that's how it's been ranked. Um, that's exactly what I'm looking for. I want you to make use of everything that you've learned so far in your undergrad career um, to have it all sort of come together and apply these techniques um, to trying to understand neuroscience. Um, indeed, that's sort of where this research or where, where the material taught in this course is going to come from. Um, because the particular approach to simulating neurobiological systems that we're going to cover here um, is not something you'll find in any course anywhere else. Um, the techniques that we're going to be talking about here are not standard. Um, they were developed by systems design graduates. Um, the, the, the main researchers who developed it uh, did come out of the systems design program here at Waterloo. Um, and to me, it's sort of comes through, it, it sort of makes good on the promise of um, what was actually taught to me when I did systems design as my undergrad, is that here is a set of mathematical tools that we're going to teach you, and in theory you should be able to apply this to sort of any problem that's out there. Um, in this particular course, I think it's a concrete example of, all right, let's actually try to do that. Um, and it ends up developing a very unique approach to understanding cognitive science, to understanding neuroscience. Um, it is an approach that um, gets talked about uh, at other universities around the world, so people do know about the approach. Um, but as far as I'm aware, this is the only full course um, that focuses on it. Um, it'll sort of be covered in a couple of weeks in other people's lectures and other courses at other universities, but this is the only um, full course. Okay, so, um, tough course, but that's fine, um, and I also definitely need to highlight in there that the stuff you're going to learn is not standard computational neuroscience. Instead, we're going to be learning this particular approach um, that came out of the University of Waterloo. All right, so, with that out of the way, uh, who am I? Who's teaching this? Um, I'm Terry Stewart. Um, I'm a research officer at the National Research Council Canada, uh, NRC, um, so that's a government research lab, um, and my job there is, I'm a full-time researcher, um, and my job is to investigate the algorithms underlying biological cogn cognition, um, build computational models of those algorithms, and then determine if those sorts of algorithms um, uh, can be useful for industry once we've um, systematized them. Um, so that's my core research, um, what I do with my day job. Um, I am an adjunct professor um, uh, at the university, so um, I get to uh, also come in and, yeah, um, and teach courses and collaborate with uh, professors and researchers and students here, um, so I'm very much tied to the University of Waterloo as well. Um, but my employer is National Research Council Canada. Um, my undergrad was Systems Design Engineering here at University of Waterloo. Um, I then went on to do a Master's of Philosophy in Computer Science and AI at Sussex University, that's in Brighton in the UK. Um, that actual research they ended up doing there um, was sort of experimental psychology on simulated robots. Um, so this sort of, sort of you know, uh, taking simulated robots and seeing whether or not they, they behave like um, uh, learning creatures do. Um, that sort of pushed me continuing to more into this cognitive science direction. And indeed, that's what I did for my PhD. So my PhD was in cognitive science at Carleton University in Ottawa. Um, and that was very much focused on how should you use computer modeling 
um, when trying to understand something as complex as cognition. After that um, is when I sort of came back to Waterloo, joining up with Chris Elismith, who was the researcher who developed the techniques that we're going to talk about um, in this course. And I basically have been working with him uh, since then. Um, I did about 10 years as a postdoc um, working under Chris, um, developing all of the stuff that we're going to talk about in this course. Um, and then, um, yeah, and as part of that, um, so I've been working on this stuff a long time. Um, as part of that, we also, uh, Chris Smith and I, and a few of the PhD students, uh, we also co-founded a company, uh, Applied Brain Research, um, that was very much focused on this, um, hey, maybe once we've got these models, they might be useful for industry. They might be, um, does understanding the brain help us build better AI systems um, or solve sorts of um, uh, AI and technical problems? So uh, that's me. That's the background. Um, and um, yeah, so I've basically been working on this stuff for the last, ooh, I guess this is like 10, 12, 13 years now. Um, and I very much enjoy it. Um, and I can't imagine what else I could possibly want to work on. So I'm very, very happy to sort of spread that, to, to share that with you. Um, basic organizational stuff for this course. Um, there's my email uh, and website. Um, the course is being run through, of course, the Learn system uh, at the University of Waterloo because this is going to be an online course. Um, there is a GitHub page that is going to have all of the uh, slides and notes on the slides um, uh, and the assignments and things like that. So those will be available um, just on that GitHub page. For discussion, we're going to have we're going to try that on Slack. Um, I will send an invite to that Slack channel uh, to everyone through the Learn system. Um, but I find Slack a little bit nicer for the um, just immediate conversation back and forth. Um, so, yeah, so that's how we're going to be organizing this particular course. Um, the way the lectures themselves are going to be working is on the weekend bef before. So, course class times are supposed to be Monday and Wednesday, um, 8.30 to 10 o'clock. Um, on the Saturday before, I'm going to post pre-recorded lectures. So I'm going to make sure that all of the lectures I'm going to have pre-recorded. Um, um, they'll just get posted publicly. Um, there'll be a link in the Learn channel, but they'll also be on my YouTube channel. Um, the eight, the 830 to 10 o'clock slot on Monday and Wednesday, what we're going to be doing is we'll be doing a sort of a live version of those same pre-recorded lectures. Um, the advantage there is that you can stop me and interrupt me and we can go and have discussion and talk back and forth. Um, and um, so please, I want those to be um, uh, as interactive as possible. Um, there is uh, two, um, so there are both undergrads and graduates uh, in this class, um, the course code. So 556 is the course code for the undergrads, 750 is the course code for the graduate students. Um, the graduate students, there is a separate discussion section, uh, nine o'clock to 10 o'clock uh, on Tuesdays. Um, and that will be, um, everyone is invited, um, the, the graduate students, the 750 students, um, they should definitely be there, um, uh, but everyone is uh, invited to join that discussion. It will be much more sort of open and, uh, you know, freeform discussion. Um, all of the links for those sorts of discussions will be available in Learn. They'll also be recorded and available to anyone who's registered for the course. Um, so, uh, that's how we're going to be running the course. So pre-recorded lectures, and then um, at those scheduled times, we will have, um, uh, yeah, I will do a, an online version of it, and, and people can stop and interrupt me. Um, and then, of course, please email me or message me on the Slack channel um, for uh, any, uh, any other sorts of, of yeah. Uh, because not everyone wants to do the uh, online discussion live. Um, all right, so what else are we going to need for this course? Um, there is a main text for the course. That's this one here over on the left. Um, this is the core book that sort of was the foundation of this um, field of study. Um, Chris Smith and Charles Anderson, Neural Engineering. Um, that's the main text. Uh, that's all that's required. Um, 
Well, there is an optional other text that sort of summarizes things um, and sorts and and sort of connects things to a little bit more high level um, that, um, that came out ten years later. Um, so there's also that text around um, if people want sort of a slightly higher overview. Um, but it's the one on the left that gives all the sort of nitty gritty details, um, which will be the basis of what we're doing here. Um, how are we going to evaluate this course? There are five assignments, um, and they will be, um, yeah, they'll be posted. They are all assignments where you will have to write your own code and generate graphs and write your own answers. Um, uh, you know, please, you know, talk with your friends and collaborate with friends, people in the class and ask questions and, 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 um, you know, uh, discuss the assignments uh, with people in the class, but everyone must submit their own assignments where they've written their own code and generate their own graphs. Um, uh, that's just how we're going to do it. Um, and so, yeah, so it's just going to be the five assignments. That's going to be the core evaluation uh, for the course. Um, the exception there is for the set people doing the 750, the graduate level version. There, there is also a final project where they will have to build some model of some neural system. Um, and, um, and, and that will, you know, sort of, ideally that will be something that sort of connects to the rest of your graduate level research or just something you're interested in. Um, there'll also be a little bit of emphasis there on making sure that when you build that model, we're just sort of following good principles of replicable science. Um, since these are sort of computer simulation sorts of research, um, we want to sort of set things up such that, you know, people can exactly replicate what you've done. Um, it's one of the nice things about computational modeling is that that's, even, that's a possible way to do the science. Um, so uh, that will be that. We'll talk about that much more during those Tuesday sessions um, that are mostly for the uh, 750 students. Okay. Um, oh, and that's just exactly what I just said. Um, yes. So there is that 750 um, uh, meeting on Tuesdays. Um, just going to be general discussion about stuff. Um, again, everyone is welcome, um, uh, but it will be focused on the graduate levels. Cool. Uh, what's our over schedule, overall schedule look like? Um, here it is. Um, again, these slides will be posted so people can um, go ahead and look at that. Um, we will have assignments will be available. I'm, I'm sort of indicating by posted, I'm uh, it's sort of, when will we have covered enough of the course such that it's reasonable to work on the assignments? Um, uh, so that's about when you do it. And we're sort of aiming such that you've got about two weeks um, to actually do the assignments. Um, and then we post the next one. And then they'll be due. And then next one due. Um, and we'll just sort of go through the course that way. Um, the last one's going to be due sort of at the end um, of the... Um, exam period. Um, it should be possible for that one to be done, uh, for people to finish that a little bit early, um, but um, at least have the deadline be as late as possible for those who want that. All right, so I hope that covers all the basic organizational stuff of the course, um, and then in the next lecture I will actually give an overview and introduction of what in the heck we are actually going to try to cover. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in a moment.